Un poquito. Okay. Oui. So after a sensational uh, English uh, demonstration, we will speak not the label of what you heard, heard before, but we hope that it will be interesting. We can continue the step-by-step -step method we are using on the same way in Hungary. Uh, you will hear that uh, we are using plastic slopes, so not always skiing on the snow, but the steps, what you have uh, seen before, this is the same what we are using. Uh, may I introduce my friend? He is Norbert Tokaj. He is a PE teacher and uh, he is a director of a, a ski club or a ski school. It is uh, more than 200 kilometers away from the capital of uh, Hungary, from Budapest. And um, myself, I am Agustin Dosek. I am working on the Sport University in Budapest and I am also a PE teacher. Both of us, we are members of the technical committee in the Hungarian Ski Instructors Federation. Okay, then um, we will uh, we will um, show you several results of uh, different surveys. I was a supervisor for two uh, diploma works, thesis, in this year. And uh, we have got another one which is very interesting, demonstrating what is happening in Hungary. In the K lectures before, if you have uh, participated, you you was uh, faced that uh, the ski sports is in crisis and so on and so on and we don't feel it in the, in the eastern countries so although I participated in Czech and Polish uh, presentation and we feel some uh, development in all countries we are free to travel to other countries, to western countries, to those countries where the circumstances, the ski slopes and the man-made features around are far better than we existed before. So you will see what, what we get. So those are the, the basis for, for different uh, results, what you will see in the demonstration. Okay, uh, the last, next one, it is, we had the, the date left there. So you can see the 17th of January, which is winter in Europe, <coughs> we have started to use the snow guns. So it's a late period, it is unusual. Normally we can start it in, in uh, November. And here you see the number of days we can use the ski slope for work. So you can see that uh, last year, last season was uh, very short, 64 days in airplane, which is uh, about 600 meters above sea level, and 50 days, less days, where we have uh, 860 meters uh, area in Matras and Dishpan. Those who have been in Gallatate, so we had an IPSI con con Congress uh, six years ago, uh, they had been there on this slope. What is the results for a survey that uh, on these small slopes, small ski areas, we have uh, mostly selling one-day tickets, part-time tickets only for several hours, and uh, multi-day tickets are only number three. So people don't like to ski a lot, so one week on those uh, ski areas, it is not uh, motivation for, for the Hungarian skiers. Okay, <coughs> so on the next, uh, it is also an analysis. You will understand uh, what's happening in Hungary. That uh, what it, it's a SWOT analysis. Uh, the states are that uh, uh, those places where we have the ski areas, they have a microclimate positive. So this is why we, they invest money on 800 meters sea level <coughs> on the next side you will see that the problems are uh, also in the high mountains 
then um, okay, you can read what what are the strengths and the beginners and families to serve the beginners and families. It is important on these areas because then we want to go abroad and to use bigger uh, terrains. Um, the weaknesses you can read. Uh, the natural and geographical aptitudes are weak, so this is what we uh, cannot change. Then you can see several opportunities for the future, um, also uh, bringing ski schools on the terrain, like uh, we can see in Austria, um, on the official uh, PE lesson program. It is one step, maybe we can do it when we have a stable uh, period with snow covered area. If don't, then maybe we will discuss about the plastic slopes. So, you can see what is there and then the trait is global warming, then the, the governmental decision, low applicable, if we have really problems. It was problem, not uh, uh, permission, to use ski lifts because it belongs to the railway system on some hope and then it was not um, not balanced to a ski lifts comparing to the railway logs it was really a big uh, problem for us okay um, we had seen uh, on the EFC lecture, the key lecture that uh, the sustainable ski sport, sustainable development, so how many, um, how big ecological footprint was given just to travel here and to be here for skiers. Uh, this is a slope in Italy covered with uh, some uh, uh, alu profile to keep the snow. Um, really I uh, I uh, give the question to my students before the ski camp that uh, maybe it is unnecessary to go because next from the next year it will be called closed the whole ski sports business or we want to I have um, two grandchild and I don't know if they will ski on a natural snow or not maybe yes okay but the next generation I'm sure it is really difficult yeah. Okay, then um, on the next slide. Uh, and you talk about that's okay. So on the side of environment, uh, when I have to judge the ski activities, uh, the green movements are against the ski. I am involved in green thinking because all of you are involved in green thinking. So to show what is here in the mountains for our children, it is, I think, number one. To build a feeling, an attitude, positive attitude uh, to the nature, it is number one. And I think it is only maybe the second one, how to teach them and, uh, and uh, to, to get them for uh, developed skiers. Number one is to love the nature and to, to have a positive attitude to keep our surroundings and our earth. Um, the normal answers to this question are to develop ski areas on higher altitude, then maybe alternative offers, so after skiing parties, <coughs> uh, sled uh, programs and uh, to build uh, swimming pools and so on. So this is one alternative, and then the technical investigation, snow gun, ta 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 ta. At the end, we have the artificial slopes. So, next slide, you will see hopefully an artificial <coughs> slope. Hi everybody. I tried to explain something about the uh, Hungarian ski clubs, and I will show some pictures about our uh, dry slopes. I jump to this. This is the map of Hungary. We are in the middle of uh, uh, Europe. Uh, we have 10 million inhabitants in, in Hungary, and uh, usually six or 500 uh, people go skiing every year. So it's a very popular sport in, in Hungary. Uh, 
if we uh, if we are on fr with friends and we can talk uh, and we start uh, to talk to each other after half an hour I'm sure that everybody will speak about the skiing so it's a very very uh, interesting thing for the Hungarians uh, the, that, uh, the red quotes show the uh, dry slopes in Hungary this is the Budapest, there is uh, more than uh, 15 dry slopes. I show another picture about uh, Budapest. Uh, here live then uh, two million people, and uh, this uh, uh, development is uh, uh, getting bigger every year. So in this year, we will uh, make two uh, new uh, dry slopes in Hungary. Uh, most of them and we are in the big cities. Uh, when somebody wants to make a dry slope, uh, the main decision that in around that place has to be uh, 200,000 people, and it's enough to run a uh, business with the, with the dry slope in Hungary. The ski clubs works a bit different like in the Alps, um, because this, uh, this program uh, run all around the year, so we uh, organize uh, summer camps for the kids, uh, summer programs, and, and also we do a lot of uh, winter activities, not just the skiing, but uh, we, we teach other sports for them. Uh, the main uh, part of our work in our dry slopes, but uh, we organize a one week tour to abroad, uh, Austria, Italy, and uh, some other countries near near Hungary, where the hills are higher, and they uh, they have um, natural snow. So <coughs> our program run uh, all around the year, year, and the skiing is uh, not just on the winter season. We start the season uh, just in days uh, in Hungary. So usually. The first uh, lessons starts end of uh, September, of beginning of October, and it's, we we do a uh, ten times uh, a course. So every week the kids come uh, the ski schools, and every every week uh, they they have one or two hours, and uh, after three months uh, they finish uh, one course. Uh, Usually the kids are between four and <coughs> ten years old, and uh, most of them are, are beginners. Uh, so a lot of uh, ski stops in Hungary. We have a uh, problem with the ski instructors because we don't have enough uh, instructors in Hungary. If we uh, educate an instructor, uh, most of them goes to uh, work to Austria or to Italy. So we need a lot of uh, instructors because they, they work just a, a part-time uh, job. So they, they choose, a, they, they work a few hours, uh, most of them uh, be teachers and some, and some other, other teachers. Uh, I would like to show some pictures about uh, our ski slopes. Uh, most of these slopes are between um, 30 and uh, 100 mat uh, meter long, and uh, the, uh, the wide they are uh, 20 or 50 meter wide. <coughs> what can we teach in these slopes? You can see this. This is for the uh, beginners, but we will show another picture at the end of the uh, the lecture that they can. Uh, learn the race technique in this loop also. So, this is in Budapest. This loop is one of the smallest in Hungary. This is one my friend made this loop on his garden and it's 25 meter long and uh, 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 16, 16 and 10 meters uh, why? But he can teach in this slope 400 kids a year. So it's quite a lot. 
but not in the same time, of course. Uh, the lift can uh, pull up two or three kids in, in one time, and uh, he uh, worked with two instructors. We tried to, to develop some special equipment to, to help our, uh, our work also. This one a bit longer, it's 120 meters long, but you can see that the, the, uh, the steepest part is not very, very wide because just a few kids that can use that uh, part of the leaf, uh, the, the slope. Okay. Looks very nice because it's wide. And if, uh, if somebody see the pictures, uh, ask uh, what can we do if the snow is uh, on the slope? It doesn't matter, it's, it's just better if it's uh, snow on it. It's a uh, slight, slightly. The sliding motion is much better if the snow is on. Uh, the next picture, this is not our, but where my ski club is works. Uh, uh, so it's our ski, ski snow. This is the longest in Hungary. It's uh, 300 meter long. And uh, we have a magic carpet. We have two, two uh, raglid and uh, in the winter time, we uh, make artificial, artificial snow uh, on the slope, and we can use the rat rock on, on the surface, so we can do this snow very proper uh, normal ski slope. Okay. It's a very narrow one, but a very nice uh, run. Uh, you can see a lot of uh, kids and a lot of people. Uh, in our ski clubs also can uh, learn uh, kids and uh, families and uh, anybody who wants to come. Usually these slopes are run um, the second part of the day after 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. and uh, most of uh, uh, the crowd time is the weekend, of course. Okay. Okay, then uh, the surveys, Marton, uh, they try to get some answers that why the people are taking part in the ski programs and um, we have to motivate them for ski. <coughs> maybe with the slopes, with the positive thinking at the beginning. Then, uh, so they had to have motivation. The second one is leisure time, and then sufficient income. It, is, it was missing 30 years ago, and now maybe we can uh, give uh, more money for our uh, free time skiing. And uh, as an environmental uh, approach, uh, we can uh, tell what you have taught in the previous uh, lecture as well, that the natural environment and the built environment, it is uh, something why you want to go there. The natural environment, the nice uh, hills, and the uh, natural snow, and the built environment, the ski lifts, the prepared slopes, and uh, the uh, tourist houses, and the uh, uh, cottages and so on, and maybe one aspect is uh, still uh, important. This is the social environment. So, where, with whom, want you to visit these areas? Okay. Then um, you see here. This is Madras and Tishwan. So when we have snow, it is really, really nice and uh, very good place. Um, what is the uh, what makes the decisions uh, in the Hungarians so they want to travel not too much so the close terrains and the close terrains are in Austria as well so uh, um, this is why they don't buy uh, multi-date tickets in Hungary because if they have uh, five days then they will travel not too much to Austria or to Czech or Slovakia where we